Hey there, welcome or welcome back to Oops I Planted Again. My name is Courtney and today we're gonna do a one year plant transformation update. So a year ago I posted a video here on YouTube, I'll link it above, of plants in my collection that were not doing so well and I shared that with you here and then I did an update six months later and showed you what was surviving, what was doing well and now it's a year later so I'm gonna do not the final update, but the last of the survivors from that original video that I made one year ago. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put here, maybe I'll put it here. Where am I gonna put it? Okay, I'm gonna put it here. A list of all of the original plants that I had in the very first video and the plants that are no longer with us, I'm going to cross out. Because you know what? There's no reason to dive into them not being here because there's just not but I still have four of those plants from that original video and I'm going to start talking about them now the first one I'm going to talk about is the Calathea orbifolia now this is actually the only Calathea well I have my Maranta but this type of Calathea is the only one I have it's not actually doing so hot it's still alive and I still have the same issue that I've had since I got this plant. So in the original video I talked about when I first got this plant, it was already not doing well. And then I put it in a bad mix that was just crap. So it made it even worse. My six month later update, it was doing better, but I've still had a lot of trouble maintaining the moisture levels that this plant needs. So I think it's time for me to bite the bullet and put this in LECA. If you've been watching me on TikTok, you know I talk about LECA a lot. Make sure you're following me on TikTok. I talk about LECA a lot. I really love it. I've used it a lot on alocasias and a lot of the plants that I import. And it's just so much easier to maintain, especially when you have really, really thirsty plants. So I think it's just, it's time to put this in LECA so that it can actually live its best life because I'm just not keeping up with the soil with this plant, but it is still alive and you know, there's a new little growth besides all the, you know, dead stuff, but you know, it's still alive and I still have hope for this plant yet, but it's time to put it into LECA. Next up we have the Monstera adansonii. So in my six month update, I talked about the one that I previously had that died and I ended up getting new ones. They had a weird growth pattern, but they were still doing super well. I put a ton of them in LECA. I put, I have one left in soil and here is the update on there. They're up here. I'm gonna tilt the camera up, maybe, yeah. So there's my adansonii. I'm actually gonna give you a closer look in one second. Okay, so here is my Monstera Adansonii, one of them. I put it in this square vase that I found at a Goodwill, and all it is is LECA. There's a ton of the Adansonii that I had previously purchased back on my six month update, and they're growing really well. I really love Monstera Adansonii and LECA. If you haven't tried it, please do. It's so much easier. And then here, I have another one another Monstera Adansonii and in that six month video update I talked about how it had like a weird like growth <laughs> pattern it's still doing that but it's still alive and well this is one of my favorite like it's just an easy plant it really is an easy plant like this one is in soil with a little bit of moss on top um I don't know why I did that I just I don't know I just do random stuff but still alive and kicking the next one that I'm really excited to share with you is my Philodendra domesticum I actually have three plants now from the very first video the plant was like I was just like this is not it's not gonna give and then my six month update this one this domesticum which I need to do a, a repot readjust all of all of that had literally two leaves so this is what it looks like now it needs to be watered and I need to get a better uh, stake on it but it's still in the very original soil mix that I bought it in and it's still alive which I'm really happy about and I'll show you the two other ones that I got from that original oh my gosh it's gonna fall over no don't fall don't fall don't fall oh my gosh okay it's not gonna fall okay and then this is another piece that needs to be staked up seriously I have I if you saw my last video you know I talked about I need to like stake up 
a ton of plants because they're just growing wild. This, the last domesticum that I'm gonna show you is even worse. It's so bad, don't laugh. It's literally growing across. It need, I need to stick this up for real, for real. But those are the three pieces that I have from that original plant a year ago and I'm so happy because this is one of the like first fancy plants that I bought. And when I buy plants, I really don't research. I don't really don't research. I do not research anything. I'm just like, it's cute, I like it, and then I'll figure it out. So this one was my first like challenging plant to do, but I'm really happy with it. And I basically just need to stake everything up, which I'm probably gonna go on live tonight on TikTok and do that. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. We have a lot of fun over there. And the last one is kind of like, kind of an update, but not really kind of an update. In the video that I did where I did a six month update, I talked about the Cebu Blue that was behind me because a year ago I just had one piece left for my original Cebu Blue and it was just so bad. Like, it was just so bad. But I want to give you an update on the one that I featured behind me in that video because it's just growing insane and I have to go get it because it's so long. Okay, so this is that Cebu Blue from that six month update video and this is what it is now it's gotten so long it just sits in my window well in my little um hanger thing that i have that i got from ikea and you know it has become a lot thirstier i've had to like aerate the soil because this is in its original you know container and i'm not going to change it because why would I? It's literally luscious. I think it actually needs to get watered again. I've said this in a ton of videos. Cebu Blue is one of my faves. I just love it. And it's just so easy and luscious and so cute. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. And I will definitely be doing another update of these plants. Probably in a six month update video. So it'll be a year and a half from the original time that I got the plants. And I'm really excited to share that with you. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.